Lady Virgos, welcome back to my channel and your weekend love reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So if you're new and you enjoy my channel and the readings, please do give it a like, the video a like, and please do subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Personal reading link is below. I am running a discount for the month of December, so do go over and book your reading as soon as you can. They're filling up pretty darn fast. Um, so I think there are some slots left. Okay, so this is a channel, if you're new, for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. Leave the rest. You don't have to be a Virgo Sun to listen. Just keep that in mind. All right, you guys. So let's get into your weekend and see what the messages are December 8th through the 11th. Okay, from the time or the time you're listening to this reading until December 11th. I cannot even believe we're so close to Christmas. Crazy. Okay, so Virgo's messages for the weekend. Beginning, we're going to start with Friday, December, actually December 9th. So I'm, I, I'm such like, what am I doing? <laughs> the video I'm upload, recording and uploading on December 8th, but this is going to be for the weekend. So it would actually be the 9th through the 11th. Okay. Let me get it straight. Okay. Virgo messages, December 9th. Okay. One card just flipped out here. Hold on a second. Let's see what's going on. Where did that go? Oh, here it is. Okay. Wow. Self-indulgence. Focusing on self. Self-worth. Wait, let me see if I can get this up here for you. Sorry about that. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. Okay, Virgo. So it looks like Friday is going to be all about you. Friday is all about you. Let's get into this reading and see what the energies are here. Okay. Friday, the beginning of the weekend, it's all about you. You're doing you. Whatever it is that you're doing, learning to love yourself, taking time to heal from something, um, disconnecting from the world, people, places, or things, and just really focusing on yourself. All right, let me see. Okay. Yeah, so you have a lot of anxiety or stress, and you really, Virgo, need to heal and take time to sort things out for yourself at this time, okay? You need to reduce your anxiety. All right, um, maybe there's nightmares or bad dreams with the Nine of Swords, some energy of grief or some depression, and you really need to care for yourself and whatever, okay. Friday looks like, ooh, okay, Five of Wands. There's some conflict. Yeah, uh, some challenges. You could be dealing with them right now, and it feels like this weekend you need to, like, you need to smash those issues, recognize your self-worth. Um, I don't know if you need to take a long, go into a spa or take a long bath um, or just really like learn to love yourself because I feel like your head is stressing out. You're stressing out a little bit here. Um, there's maybe some rivalry or some obstacles um, for some of you maybe there's some sport or physical challenge over the weekend that you're going to be doing uh, that you it's going to be very challenging wow i gotta tell you virgo nine of wands here friday is really looking like everybody back off you're taking time to yourself friday friday evening whatever that means for you spending time by yourself um, disconnecting. I feel a lot of disconnecting from people, places, and things. Okay. Um, and, and really, like, if you're playing some kind of sport or you're engaging in some type of physical activity that you're going to indulge in over the, like, over the weekend, starting on Friday, um, it might be, like, have you a little bit stressed about this, but I feel like you're going to be in defensive mode. Um, like, getting in the zone. I just keep hearing getting in the zone on Friday in regards to something so, and also protecting yourself so that you don't become physically exhausted, but be careful. Um, you have two nines here and nines represent endings, accomplishment, transition, can represent service. Don't wear yourself out with whatever you're doing. You need to take time for yourself especially over the weekend. I don't care if you're gonna sit with a tub of ice cream. I don't care if you're gonna like really force yourself to stick to that diet or start that diet or some new physical activity, um, something with your health or get into some new mental training, get into something spiritual, um, you know, uh, 
anything that's going to increase your self-worth, I feel like it's really important. And that's a really strong message because I feel like Friday will be full of some type of conflicts um, that could cause some stress and you got to stand up for yourself. You may need to stand up for yourself and maintain some boundaries and be persistent. Okay. I just want to get one more card. Yeah, two of pentacles. So this is about balancing things. Get off that roller coaster and do it on Friday. Whatever this roller coaster that you're on or the roller coaster ride or this thing that you're dealing with, get off that roller coaster. I don't know specifically what's that what that's about, but um I feel like you need to kind of like hit terra firma and uh, get back down onto the ground. Really, really important message for some of you, okay? If, especially if you're dealing with this right now, or you have this, like you're having anxiety or stress. Yeah, pace yourself. That's what I feel like you need to do here. Two of Pentacles energy, you're gonna have some options. You're gonna have to weigh something. Um, and some of you might just go inward, retreat, to sort some things out so you can make a decision about something, okay? All right, now, let's see. Saturday, you have palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So it looks like you're gonna stabilize on Saturday, okay? And you're gonna sort through things. Whatever your stress is, whatever the conflicts are, whatever you need to maintain boundaries with and, and kind of like temper yourself and level yourself out, you're going to need to do that on Friday or at least some point over the weekend so you can get into a more stable position and try to be a bit more flexible. Let go of rigidity is what I'm hearing. Now let's take a look for a Saturday. Oh, okay. You have the four of wands. So there's a family situation. Let's see, 11, 11, the four of swords. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So some of you, there might be a reunion. Okay. Whenever I see the palm tree, I always, always feel like it has something to do with um, a, a place where there's palm trees. Okay. Um, so maybe there's some kind of a reunion. Um, there's okay. There's an energy of um, you Virgo going on some kind of vacation maybe, or taking a trip somewhere, or being invited to go on a trip somewhere. The, the Knight of Wands, there's a very lustful energy coming towards you on Saturday. Um, this could be a fire sign, it could be air, uh, but somebody coming in and maybe inviting you to go somewhere tropical, or talking about this, and also some kind of a reunion, someone trying to get into a committed relationship with you, um, but this person, there's a tendency towards this person withdraws a lot, okay? Um, so like there's re reuniting, and then this person goes ghost, and then they come back like a flamethrower. Yeah, okay. Now, like I said, it could be a Sagittarius, the Four of Wands. Mm, I think the Four of Wands can represent Aries. Could be Aries. You could be connecting with an Aries. Could also be a Libra. Yeah. So there's a lot of like. It kind of feels like an in and out energy with this person. And here's the Ten of Wands as well. So for some of you, this could also be yes, yeah, double Sagittarius energy there. So I feel like there's somebody here that is an energy of someone is going to be coming in to try to reconnect with you on Saturday. Now, either they're in a place where there's palm trees or you are, or there's this desire um, to take a trip somewhere where it's kind of tropical, I feel. Um, when this person though, I have to say, when this person, um, they seem to be kind of like busy with things, like they get burdened and they need release. So they kind of like reach out to you is what I'm feeling. But this person is very passionate and like is a trailblazer, this kind of energy here. It's interesting because 
the Knight of Wands and then the Ten of Wands. It's like as soon as this person, when they're exhausted from whatever that they're doing, there's an energy of coming towards you, okay, and trying to connect with you. But I have to tell you, with this Four of Wands, there is like some kind of reuniting with someone. It could be a family member or a friend or a lover. It, it feels mostly like a lover because there's a lot of lust energy coming from this person. And I'm also hearing, I want to come home or I want, can we, can I come to your home or can we create a home together? Can we build a home together? So you might get some communication from someone um, that has been silent about this. Okay. And then the five of cups just flipped out. So this is someone who's like in a lot of grief um, or remorse or regret and is maybe regret for time that you haven't spoken and now they want to reunite with you they want to reunite with you and so I feel like this is possibly a Scorpio with that five of cups energy there for some of you okay so it looks to me like Saturday <laughs> I mean, you get yourself together on Friday and you really like balance things out and I feel like you're in a good place and then you get stable and then somebody's showing up here. Um, I don't necessarily feel like someone's intention is to reunite with you to kind of like um, upset the apple cart. I don't feel it's like intentional, but I, I, I do kind of have to laugh at this because you get yourself into a good place and you feel stable and relaxed and you come to a place of peace and then <laughs> that's how the energy works right then somebody kind of shows up and it's like either they want you back or they want to reunite or they want to reconnect because they've missed you with that five of cups gives me kind of the sense of like you know I, I, I feel like you don't love me. I still love you. Um, did you abandon me? I feel lost or I'm sorry I abandoned you and I've just been very stressed and I'm sorry I haven't reached out and a lot of that energy playing out here for you, Virgo. So mm, just keep your eyes peeled for Saturday. Let me take a look and see what Sunday's energy is going to bring here to you. Oh, this one had to flip out and it flipped back. Okay. Let me see if I can try to get you to see this. Oh my gosh, I have my camera is way too close. Okay, so you have the phoenix here. Okay, a new face, a rekindling of something with someone. Sorry, you guys. Okay, renewal, transformation, growth, changed mind. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a rekindling happening Saturday through Sunday with someone. The phoenix is rising. Right, let me see what are the other messages here for you okay king of wands is showing up here wow virgo you're connecting this might be a leo july 22nd through august 22nd um it could also be again sagittarius or an aries or mars ruled okay so somebody is showing up here feminine or masculine energy very confident feeling assured um uh, coming in like very charming and um, a little bit feisty, but courageous. Someone's making a bold move here. Okay, Seven of Wands. Wow, and the Knight of Cups. All right, Virgo. Ooh, with the High Priest. Uh, okay, I feel like someone is coming in with like a proposal of love or marriage or engagement or a committed relationship. Uh, very traditional somebody might be getting down on their knee and they're not taking no for an answer Virgo we also have Taurus um, this person's not taking no for an answer um, Pisces energy showing up as well okay let me just see give me a clarification card for the king of wands Oh, Sagittarius again. This heavy Sagittarius in this reading. If you're not connecting with a Sagittarius, like currently, <clears throat> this could be a Sagittarius that's coming in that tr is trying to connect with you. And there's like a new face starting with this person. But this person's showing up very balanced with temperance, like real settled and calm and relaxed. Okay. Um, but I feel like 
it's also very defensive like this person does not take no like you like if you say no to this person that actually spurs them on uh is more of a challenge to um keep after you okay i don't feel like it's a negative energy like i don't feel like it's aggressive like someone's gonna like harass you i, I don't feel that it, it's just they are so confident that um they, they're standing their ground here with this offer that they want to make to you. Okay, but be careful because they might. All right, for some of you, I hate putting a damper on this reading because Sunday looked great, but be careful. This person isn't coming in to intentionally, you know, make this offer, reach out to you, whatever, and then intentionally hurt you like, and then pull, like reel it back in. Like just be very weary wary wary about this person but i do feel like this person and that was a small message for someone we also have the king of cups showing up here um for some cancer scorpio pisces person showing up offering this like golden opportunity at least they think they're a golden opportunity or offering this opportunity um the potential new beginning here um i feel like you know, I have to get that message that I feel like there's someone here. You just, I don't see deceit or anything, but I just feel like there is a 1% chance that this person could just be coming in with a spiteful offer, okay? Um, just to see if you'll say yes. A little bit of a temperature check. Now, for the rest of you, um, there was some kind of breakup of some sort or like a separation or maybe an argument and this person is coming in um to make good on a love offer to you, okay? And offer this new, uh, like an opportunity for you two to kind of reconcile and move together, move forward in a, a beautiful traditional relationship or committed possibly even marriage, okay? Um, so I'm feeling like somebody here could be a teacher. Also, uh, they could be an athlete. Um, they could also be a counselor or uh, work in like spiritual uh, environment or mental health kind of environment as well. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm picking up all that energy. I'm also picking up two other things. They're either, well, it's three. It's, it's either someone that works with chemicals, whether that be like beverages or um, in pharmaceuticals or in um, like a lab of some sort. Um, yeah, could be a bartender. <laughs> um, okay, now the Empress just fell out, just out of the blue, it just flipped out. Some of you um, might be hearing from a mother or a mother figure, and there might also be um, a pregnancy looming or something to do with pregnancy, maybe talk or conversation about having a child or a planned pregnancy or talking about having babies or about being a grandparent. Cause I know for some of you that might actually be a thing based on some of you might be up in age and not having children anymore. Okay. So I, I feel like the weekend energy is a little shifty and I feel like, um, you're going to really need to get yourself Friday, like really stabilize on Friday. Like uh, it's almost as if like you need to step back on Friday and just spend some time with self and reorient yourself to yourself on Friday. Cause this weekend energy, Saturday and Sunday feels like it's going to be some stuff coming up that you're going to need to be prepared for. So take Friday to prepare yourself for the Saturday and Sunday. Okay. You have year of the dog. You have Year of the Horse, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Tiger, let's see, Year of the Snake, Year of the Ox, let's see, Tiger again, Rooster again, all right, Year of the Dragon, <clears throat> and Year of the rabbit okay so that may be your Chinese sign it may be the other person just take it with a grain of salt maybe it's none of you all right they just said to do the messages of love oracle cards so let's take a look and see what the messages of love oracle cards are and thank you guys for all of the well wishes I do appreciate that I'm definitely on the mend 
I made a huge pot of chicken noodle soup and I've just been sipping on that for the past two days. Um, also, remember you guys that I'm running a special for personal readings and I've opened up a bunch of slots and they're almost filled. So if you want to get a special discounted holiday reading, go over to my website, moonpytero.com. The link is below and click there to get your reading with me. Phone call reading. Okay. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So for some of you, this energy needs to happen in order for a relationship to have a brand new start. There needs to be like you forgiving yourself for something or forgiving another person, um, letting go of resentment or past discretions. You know, you just can't move forward and heal a relationship um, and have a new start unless there's forgiveness, it's, you know, and, but it has to be like on both sides to heal. Okay, decision. So there's, <laughs> it's time to decide about this relationship. So maybe, there, like I said, there, the three swords was there. So some kind of argument or something must have happened. And there needs to be like this forgiveness and, and the decision needs to be made whether to go forward with someone or not. So you're go definitely going to be presented with this over the weekend about what to do. Okay, true love. The, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Okay. I don't really like to say that unconditional love for a partner um, because I don't think that that's, um, it's just my personal opinion. I feel like unconditional love would be for yourself and that you should love yourself unconditionally and maybe your children, your grandchildren. But I don't feel for a partner, I feel like this is more about true love for self right because a lot of you are not loving yourselves unconditionally which means that you accept yourself your flaws and all and you forgive yourself for being too hard on yourselves you know um recognizing your self-worth and telling yourself you know that you are a good person you are worthy of love you are worthy of all this stuff if you don't feel that way about yourself you won't accept that from somebody else and you'll accept all the opposite you'll ex if you don't forgive yourself if you don't feel like you're worthy of emotional, physical, and unconditional love for self, um, then you'll only accept from other people disrespect, right? So it feels like really Friday is about, you know, true love for self and not in a narcissistic or egotistical way, but you know, you have to live with yourself every day, Virgo. No one else is there with you, but you 24 seven. And it, you better start loving yourself, Virgo, and realize that no matter what, however you feel you look or, or however you feel you behave or things like that, like you got to love yourself, man. You do. You got to accept yourself and forgive yourself for being imperfect because everybody is. All right. That was a really strong message there. Okay. So rejection. Rejection is actually divine protection. Okay. Um, and I'm not talking about rejecting yourself. Okay. Um, some of you might be rejecting things about yourselves to protect yourselves from going into shock about something you may have said or done too. But also if someone is rejecting you in your life and is not accepting you, well, that's a, that is divine protection because that's letting you know that that's not the person that you need to be surrounding yourself. Or if people are like that, that, that those are not the people you need to be surrounding yourself with because they will only bring you down. Okay. All right. And there's regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Yep. I said that earlier with the five of cups, that energy was definitely there, Virgo. Okay. And wait, timing is not quite right. So there's a timing thing also with someone that, um, believe it or not, I feel like something was not meant to move forward with another person, um, due to a timing issue. Okay. And that's just straight out facts. Okay. Was the love there? Yes. Was, did you guys meet for a reason? Yes. Is this your twin flame, your soulmate? Most likely. Um, why didn't you meet before? Why now? Why didn't things move forward? Why now? It all has to do with timing. Everything has to do with timing. All right, let me see. I want to get your romance angels messages here. There you go. Forgiving and learning. Forgiveness is a big theme for this weekend. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So yeah, get into forgiving and 
<coughs> excuse me, learning about yourself. Heal those past wounds, right? And how do you heal those past wounds? You forgive. You forgive. That's all you have to do. You, you just look at it and you say, okay, things went the way they went and I can't change the past. I'm going to forgive and just let go and learn from it. And that's how you heal those past wounds. And you keep doing it. Sometimes it's an everyday thing. Sometimes you have to wake up every morning and, rem and remind yourself, oh, I'm forgiving that person. Oh, I'm forgiving that, that situation. It's not about burying your feelings. You feel your feelings. But it's about not holding resentment over someone for the way they've treated you or for yourself. Okay? Don't be angry with yourself. Don't be mad at yourself. Just love yourself. Okay, and you also have reconciliation. So someone from your past is returning to your life over the weekend. And like I said, there's not going to be a possibility for reconciliation. If you want that, it's not going to happen unless there's a clean slate. There has to be a clean slate. There has to be this letting go, this forgiveness, this... But it has to be on both sides. It can't just be like you. It can't just be one person forgiving and the other person not. Both have to work towards putting the past in the past and both saying, yes, I'll let this go. And you're going to forgive each other for things. Okay. And then for others, there is a reconciliation with self. You're returning to self over this weekend as well, which is beautiful. Getting to know you, starting over, relearning who you are, getting back to self. All right. Let me see what other messages there are for you. Virgo, let's see. Okay, manifestation. Lay all your cards on the table. Fear not. Use every tool in your arsenal to create and manifest this new journey. As it is above and below, so it will be here on earth. Okay, that's Gemini energy. That is the magician. That is focused creativity. This is turning visions into reality. This is being inspired to take action. This is all about inspiration. And you have hitting rock bottom. So some of you are going to come to realize something, you know, um, this is kind of like once you hit rock bottom, there's no way, el nowhere else to go but up. So there's a realization happening also over the weekend, either for you or another person. It's like totally hitting rock bottom. And then, uh, and it could be this other person coming in who's like completely floored exhausted and wild and wanting to uh, try to reconcile with you over this weekend. So I would keep your eyes and ears peeled for some type of communication from somebody. Now remember, you guys, these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate for you. Okay, take it with a grain of salt. It's also predictive, right? So this could show up the following weekend or the weekend after, but we're looking at this weekend. So for some of you, this could happen over the weekend. If it doesn't, don't be discouraged. Um, highly logical male is here. So um, this looks like, okay, they're giving me two energies. It's either Virgo or, um, uh, or Capricorn, or it's, it's an air sign, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Okay, I sometimes feel like, uh, sometimes it feels to me like Virgo and Gemini have a tendency to mimic each other because they're both Mercury ruled and they can be very highly logical, Virgo and Gemini, Gemini more so than Virgo. Virgo tends to get confused between their senses and their emotions. Virgo is actually a very sensual sign, not often an emotional sign, but Virgo feels things. And it affects their emotions. But Virgo feels it's the senses that are affected first. And then the reaction is Virgo's emotions. Okay. Um, and I feel like for you guys, you may feel like you're a very emotional person. But what you actually are is a very sensual person. Sight, touch, um, the sense of smell. Um, vision, hearing, um, vibrations, everything with the earth, you know, the, the earth is like, is all about vibration. And those vibrations affect you emotionally. Things don't ever affect you emotionally first, unless there's some type of vibration that's signaling to you. Okay. So you may be, there may be like a, a highly logical male. It could be a Gemini. 
who is um, very heady and they are possibly hitting rock bottom here. It doesn't have to be in their sun. They could have it any other placement in their chart, but it could also be Libra and Aquarius, okay? So it looks like you're gonna be learning something new over the weekend for sure. Oh, and also um, toxicity, something you may realize has got a hold of you and you start breaking the chain, which can seem impossible. You're being asked to take things a day at a time here, Virgo. Healing doesn't happen overnight. Face your fears, pray for guidance, and ask to be lifted out of this. This is a time of deep struggle, but know that you're not alone. And I feel like all that energy plays out on Friday. You are really having to face something. Part of learning this new skill, Virgo, feels like learning how to forgive, accept, and move forward. Some of you may not be ready for that. Um, some of you might want to hold on to some type of resentment or anger because it gives you a sense of power. But hey, so a card flipped out and it says new love start. But it fell on the floor. Hold on, I have to get it. Okay, there you go. So there's a new love start happening here. Oh my gosh, all this stuff is happening. My camera went sideways, my card fell on the floor. There's beeps on my phone. I don't know what's going on. There's some kind of sign. There's a new love start happening here for you, okay? This is the Ace of Cups. All right, so something, maybe you've connected with someone or you met somebody new, or this reconciliation is coming forward with someone who's trying to have a new beginning with you, okay? So you have some energy that's happening here that I kind of feel like, you may not be expecting, but you're hoping for, okay? And it's gonna come in quick. Cupid's arrows, hey, speed and travel. Um, eight, of, eight of wands energy here. So yeah, I kind of get a sense that there's gonna be some change and some news. Someone's coming in with some new love juju to give you Virgo. <laughs> Definitely. Right as you go through this change over this weekend, you could be meeting somebody new like Saturday and Sunday or there is a new beginning with someone who's trying to reconcile or make something happen. But overall, you have the self card. Take a look at yourself, Virgo. Add up the pros and cons of yourself. Balance things out. Reconcile yourself to accepting you just as you are, as well as those in your heart. Acceptance is key. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat other people up. Live and let live. So for the, a lot of you, I don't know who, this is reconciling with self 100%, okay? And this is something I feel like you need to do seriously first. That has to be your number one priority in whatever is going on in your life. Um, Stop second guessing your decisions. You're trusting your intuition and you're making decisions based on what feels or what is in the best interest of yourself. Don't doubt yourself with that kind of energy and whatever you're putting outward. Um, don't let your past hold you back. Have faith in your dreams, Virgo. Okay, be bold and make first moves in your life. Don't wait for other people to make first moves for you. Make your first bold moves and a new start is coming. So, I mean, these are all hopeful messages here, but I feel like before you get started in anything, you really gotta sit with yourself, sit with your feelings. Don't let them scare you. Don't let your feelings overtake you. Sit, acknowledge, recognize them and accept them and begin the process of moving forward. Okay, yeah, because your emotions could be running high over this weekend, especially on Friday, um, affecting your anxieties. Communication is key, okay? And that's just not, that's not just communication with another person or other people. This is also about your self-talk, how you communicate with self as well. Huge lessons. I feel like you're gonna be learning some new things about yourself or even learning new skills for yourself. I love it though, I really do. Cause I really feel like there's this energy of reconnecting with yourself, which is more important than any relationship you'll ever have in your life, okay? The relationship you have with yourself. If you can't have a relationship with yourself, if you can't love yourself, how can you be someone who can love others? How can you connect with other people um, if you can't love yourself? 
Okay, Virgo. So I like your weekend reading. A heck of a lot of cards there, but I'm going to leave that there for you. And again, if you want a personal reading, link is below in the description box. Definitely check that out. And I will be back on December 11th to start your, um, your singles reading. And yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And do take care of yourselves in the uh, season of flu and what have you. Take good care, and I will see you guys back here very soon. All right, love you.